Hello learners. Welcome to my class. I am teacher Marisa of Lorenzo Tan National High School. Today let's talk about temperature, pressure and metamorphism. Changes undergone by rocks during metamorphism. Learning competencies. 1. Describe the physical and chemical changes in rocks due to changes in pressure and temperature metamorphism. 2. Compare and contrast the formation of different types of igneous rock. Metamorphism is the isochemical process by which rocks are changed by either heat or pressure, or both heat and pressure. The chemical composition of the parent rock will be the same as the metamorphic rock produced. The rock undergoes the very slow process of solid-state recrystallization without melting. Different temperatures and pressures cause new minerals to grow in rocks that have the same composition. The minerals produced are directly related to pressure and temperature conditions. The lower temperature limit for metamorphism is between 200 degrees Celsius and 150 degrees Celsius. Below these temperatures, changes are part of diagenesis. There is no lower pressure limit. The upper temperature limit is where melting occurs. This happens at around 800 degrees Celsius. The process of metamorphism may result in destruction of fossils, beds and sedimentary structures, hardening of the rock, changes in color, changes in alignment of minerals, growth of new metamorphic minerals. Temperature is a key variable in metamorphism. High temperatures occur near to igneous intrusions, where the magma heats the surrounding rocks. Temperature also increases with depth, due to geothermal gradient. As temperature increases, the rate of metamorphic reactions also increases. This is because many of the chemical reactions require heat to take place. Higher temperatures increase the rate of which ions diffuse between minerals, though it is still a slow process because the ions have to move through solid rock during metamorphosis. The whole process is greatly speeded up by water, which allows the ions to diffuse more rapidly. When a rock is exposed to extreme heat and pressure, within the earth but does not melt, the rock becomes metamorphosed. Metamorphism may change the mineral composition and the texture of the rock. For that reason, a metamorphic rock may have a new mineral composition and or texture. The parent rock can either be sedimentary, igneous or even another metamorphic rock. The word metamorphic comes from the Greek word which means, to change form. The chemical components and crystal structures of the minerals making up the rock may change even though the rock remains a solid. Changes that are just beneath the Earth's surface due to weathering are not classified as metamorphism. Geologic processes that occur within the Earth. 1. Magmatism is the activity or motion of the magma. Rocks that are subjected to high temperature and pressure melt and become magma. Magma is a semi-liquid molten rock mixture that can be found in the lower portion of the crust and the upper part of the mantle. Depending on the temperature, pressure and formation in the crust and the mantle, the magma can be formed in different ways. 2. Plutonism. Is an idea developed by James Hutton in 1788, he stated that the formation of intrusive igneous rocks or plutonic rocks came from the solidification of magma beneath the Earth's surface. When the hot molten magma does not solidify, it will be brought up to the Earth's surface through uplifting. When the magma reaches the surface, it becomes lava streams of molten rocks that cool and solidify to form extrusive igneous rocks. 3. Falconism is the phenomenon of an eruption of magma onto the surface of the Earth. 
1. Describe the physical and chemical changes in rocks due to changes in pressure and temperature metamorphism. Two, compare and contrast the formation of different types of igneous rock. I hope you have learned a lot from our discussion. Thank you for watching. Keep safe.